The results don't mesh, Hesh. Miami, Florida. David, you're on the Savage Nation. Thanks for taking the call, Doug Savage. I was just uh, saying that uh, back in England, sir, Winston Churchill kept England from going down. A lot of people listen to him. And you're about the same parallel like uh, Winston Churchill. America's going through a lot of uh, uh, problems right now, political. And history has a way to repeat itself and we'll rush back into it. And thanks to God, thanks to you, sir, that a lot of people listen to you. And, and, and I think that... Uh, uh, you're about the same as, as Winston Churchill did back in the, in the 30s and 40s. Uh, well, David, that's a great compliment. He is one of the greatest men uh, of, of modern history, which is why uh, Obama removed his uh, bust from the White House the minute he took office. You know that. See, Obama was, was recognizing the fact that he could never, ever even uh, live up to Winston Churchill's lowest standards, let, let alone his mediocre or higher standards. And so in order to get this great man's uh, image out of the White House. He had the bust removed in order to make certain that his mediocrity would prevail and uh, he could think of himself as a great man himself. But I look, I'm not Winston Churchill in so many regards. Number one, I, uh, well, I have a poodle, strangely enough, called Teddy that is a small 10 pound poodle. I, I didn't know this till after I got Teddy. I didn't do it to imitate him. I, I thought that Churchill had a bulldog, but no, he had a 10 pound poodle called Rufus. And he loved his poodle very much, as I love my poodle. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, other than that, I don't think I have much in common with Winston Churchill. I, I, for example, Churchill, although he was a member of the, of the uh, minority party in England, and he was speaking vociferously about the coming war with Germany, uh, Germany was building up the military, and the British liberals were saying, oh, you right-wing reactionary fool, we live in Marin County, England. You're a reactionary right-winger, Mr. Churchill. England has no place for right-wingers. We're a tolerant nation. We wouldn't care if our women wore burkas. We'd get down in Breda, Mecca if we had to, Mr. Churchill. Because, well, we're a tolerant, liberal people, Mr. Churchill. Yep. Play it again, Sam. As I say, Poncielli did the best he could given the limitations of uh, the European male in uh, that century. He had not yet evolved to the level of uh, those with... Uh, let us say, jewels in their nose and ears and teeth. He was uh, just trying his best to compose and play music, as primitive as it may sound compared to the modern productions that we might hear from uh, uh, Warner Records or whoever still makes recordings. Uh, those type of folks, as you know, are far, far superior to Bach, Beethoven, Poncelli, because, uh, well, they're not taught anymore. The dead white male is dead. I think music from Pancelli, Wagner, Bach, uh, you name it. I think that it, it should be, uh, I, I think it should be made illegal. And I'll tell you why. Uh, just as Obama removed the, the bust of Churchill from the White House, I think that we should rid ourselves of all remnants of uh, the dead white male in order to progress, in order to diversify, in order to make folks understand how superior the country is today as a multicultural uh, melting pot. I'll be right back. So 